food and product reviews. And as you just saw, today's product is the Ninja Foodie Digital Air Fryer Oven. Here it is. When I first saw this advertised, I'm like, no, that is way too big. I do not want that on my kitchen counter. Until they did this. Then I said, yes, I must have it. So what you get with it? You get the air fryer cookbook. You have the owner's guide. And then you have kind of like a cheat sheet, like a quick overview of it. And it has a quick uh, recipe on recipe on the back of how to do uh, sheet pan meals. And I will try one of those. And this kind of gives you an idea of what setting you need for each for each thing. What I have has six different settings. It has the air fry, the air roast, uh, air broil, bake, toast, and bagel. It's another one too that has a uh, can dehydrate. This is not the model. I didn't know that when I bought it. Uh, I didn't even know there was such a thing until I started reading the own owner's guide and then I realized there was another model. Also, they sell accessories. Threes. They have a two inch casserole dish, a magnetic cutting board, a muffin pan, and a broiler rack that you can purchase uh, online on their website. It also includes the air fryer rack, a sheet pan, a crumb tray, baking rack. The one thing I was asked to try in this is uh, wings, so I'm gonna start with some wings. So I'm gonna start with air fryer. Uh, the temp is right, 400, but if I wanted to adjust that, press the temp, you see it's flashing, and then you can adjust it. So I'm gonna stick at 400, press the temperature again to set it. Time, I'm gonna go for 25 minutes. Let's turn this to 25, and then I hit time. Push this little, the knob in. There. Now it's preheating. I'm gonna spray my air fryer basket and then place my wings on here. Here is the sheet pan underneath. You're gonna to wanna to put that there safe so all that doesn't fall into the bottom of the air fryer. And this doesn't sit inside the pan. You slide it in the rack. Slide it in the rack and the pan just sits underneath of it. It says after 10 minutes to uh, flip the wings with tongs and bake an additional 10 to 15 minutes. This is cool, it has a little light here. What's cool is that light comes on about 30 seconds before the timer goes off. So you just want to be careful because there's a lot of juices in this pan. You don't want them to spill or they will burn you. All right. Go another um, probably 10, 15 minutes. It gets warm. It's at like 85. If you go to the glass, that's around 273, so that's, that's pretty warm. Careful on the glass. My husband did burn himself. I'm not sure if it's on the glass or on the inside, but just you got to be careful with it because it does get pretty warm. Okay, so there's less than 30 seconds left, so you see the light came on. You can hear it it's sizzling and they smell amazing. No, I... They are brown and a little crispy, but I want them just a little crispier. So I've never done this, but I'm gonna put it on air broil for like maybe two, um, to see if I can get the top to crisp up more because the air broil just heats from the top. It's on high and it's only set it for one minute. So let's see what happens. Hopefully I don't burn them. That was a minute 30. So I think that's long enough. I'm gonna stop it. Super hot, so be very careful. Okay. That bottom rack, or the bottom, the sheet pan has all the... It looks pretty amazing happy with the way these turned out. I'm gonna give one a try. Nice and brown. Nice crispy. Oh, super hot though. Okay, so I'm very pleased the way these turned out. I'm gonna go enjoy some wings and I'm gonna let this cool off because it's super dirty and it needs to be cleaned. 
clean it, show you how to do that, and um, then we'll move on to something a little less messy. The air fryer's still not completely cooled yet, so I am going to wash these two. If you saw my air fryer, um, the Ninja Foodie air fryer pressure cooker video, here is the basket for that. This is so much easier to clean. This is kind of a pain in the butt. The sheet pan I'm gonna wipe off with a paper towel. I don't want all that going down my sink. And this does come off pretty easy. So that did wipe off pretty well. So that cleans up really nice. Okay, so the air fryer basket is definitely much harder to clean in this model air fryer than it is this one. Um, I could put this in the dishwasher. This is dishwasher safe and in this, in this sheet pan that I just washed. Um, but I usually don't like to put pans in the dishwasher. But with this one, I may have to because this kind of ear, this is kind of a pain in the butt to clean. So I'm gonna get all the loose stuff off first. Said you can take like a non-abrasive brush to it. Just getting in there. It's like there's little pieces that just hang on. I don't want to let go. I think it's clean and then you see something and it's not. Like over here. Too bad, but like I said, I've been used to the other basket and that is much easier to clean. Okay, this got pretty nasty. When all the lights go off, it's cooled off. All right, it says to use a damp cloth with a non-abrasive liquid cleanser or mild solution may be used to clean it. So I'm just using soap. That's safe to take out. Okay, so the door was pretty gross. That looks pretty clean. But so you want to put your your whatever your cleaning agent is on um, your sponge and not directly onto the unit. Okay. So this actually stayed pretty clean. This was the crumb tray. So here, this is a pretty nice feature for cleaning. So you push that up, and there is this button up top here. You push that, and this comes down to make it easier to clean. You see all the grease and stuff. Ugh, yuck. Oh boy. So this way you can get in there and get all that grease that splattered up. Make sure you do it after each use. That's really gonna build up. So just push it back up. Put it back down. Slide. Right back in. All clean. Okay, so I asked in my the end of my cut the carb uh, review if you had any suggestions of what to make in here. And someone mentioned making some chips in the air fryer instead of frying them the way I did. And by the way, if you haven't bought these, you should. My sister actually got some the other day and texted me and told me how much she liked them. So still love 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 them practically every day i make like some type of little flatbread pizza or something with the cut the carb uh flatbread it crisps up very fast so i'm going to spray these with a little avocado oil and some salt and then i'm going to put them just on the basket i won't need this sheet tray underneath because it's not gonna nothing's gonna drip or anything so and i'm gonna set this at 350. i'm gonna still do air fry just and the time is going to be, I'll put five minutes, but it won't take that long. Yeah. Put it in the air fryer and it won't take long. Right. Oh, it's starting to get brown. Look at that, how quick that was. It's super simple and now you have yourself some low carb chips. Let's see. Nice crunch. A little salty. Miss my mouth. Very good. Still think fried is better, but still a very good choice. I do like these. All right, on to the next thing. 
Okay, on this sheet here, the inside, it kind of gives you a guide on what you should use on each setting. So like air frying is for french fries, you can use it with frozen or hand cut. Um, chicken wings, nuggets, any breaded foods, the air roast, good for sheet pan meals, which we're gonna try one of those. Proteins, vegetables, the air broil is for steaks, fish, nacho, casserole finishing. Bake is for uh, cakes, cookies, frozen pizza, toast, the toast setting is for bread, English muffin, frozen waffles, and the bagels is for bagels or artisan bread. Um, but now we're going to try a frozen pizza. Okay, bake, temperature 400, and this little red light here shows that it's already hot or it just hasn't cooled off from the last time. All right, and then the time, 19 to 23 minutes. So. I'm going to put it on 20, 20 minutes. Like I said, I'm just going to cook it right on the rack. There's plenty of room in there. All right. 20 minutes, it'll be ready. All right. See how the bottom is. All right. So the bottom see it without all the cheese falling off. It's nice and toasted. All right, now I'm gonna go have some pizza and then I'm gonna make some chocolate chip cookies. Okay, pizza was a success. It was very good. Going in next are some chocolate chip cookies. So I really like this idea so you don't have to heat up the whole kitchen. So to be honest, by the time my oven heats up, this is already heated and the cookies are half baked. So that's pretty nice. So, ah, they're going in. Preheated yet. Now it is. Let's check on the cookies. So about three minutes left. They're looking good. Cookies are done. Ooh, look pretty perfect to me. I'm gonna let them cool a minute and see how brown the um, the bottoms got. Okay, the cookies turned out pretty awesome. Bottoms are perfect. So it's time to eat one or two or three. So next we are gonna make a sheet pan meal. I'm gonna make it very simple for you right here. It says you pick your protein. Here you have your vegetable and your starch. And then you can add your seasoning, your marinade. Um, you can toss it all together or you can keep it all separate. I've just used olive oil and uh, some spices and I've decided I am gonna keep them all separate. So I have chicken, broccoli, and potatoes. Air roasted 400 for 20 to 30 minutes. That's for poultry and red meat. 10 to 20 minutes for seafood. So we're gonna set the air roast at 400. 400 for 20 to 30 minutes. I'm gonna set it at 25 minutes. And wait for it to preheat. It's preheated, ready to go in. Chicken, broccoli, and potatoes. Okay, it's been a little, like 22 minutes, and I think it's ready. Yum. But not easy that was. Okay, so I've had the air fryer for probably almost two months now and I have never made one of these until today and I wish I would have done it sooner. Uh, this worked great. Let me see. Broccoli. Very good. I like it that way when it gets a little, like when it gets a little toasty like that. A little, little brown. Potatoes. Ooh. They're probably a little hot. Potatoes are done. Chicken. Chicken. Hot fill. Turned out great. It was super easy to make. I will definitely make this again. Okay, so I was happy with everything that I made. Uh, I thought it would work great. I will say I do prefer it over my other air fryer. I have more surface space than in the little basket and you can spread things out. One thing my husband finds annoying about this is that it's hard to get to stuff because you don't have a lot of space here. It does go up higher in here, but 
as far as if you want to check on something, uh, you almost have to pull it all the way out. The other air fryer, it's easier. You just lift the lid and you can see straight down inside. Where this one, you have to pull it out. And it is and it is a little tight when you have the basket when the air fryer. It's not that big a deal to me. The one last thing I want to try in here is toast. Because that's one of the reasons why I wanted this. Because um, as I mentioned in another video, when I finally did break down and get a toaster oven because I didn't want one because I didn't want the way it took up too much space on my counter. Because before I just had a toaster, but my husband wanted a toaster oven. So for Christmas, I don't know, three years ago or so, I broke down and I bought one. But what would drive me crazy is he would still pull out the toaster. I should have got rid of the toaster. I guess that was my fault. So I got this in hopes that the toaster would uh, be to his liking because our toaster oven kind of went kaput. So I saw this, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna give this one a try. It takes up less space when it's up. And if it toasts, I don't have to get aggravated every time he gets out the toaster and then he doesn't put it away. So this will toast up to nine slices of bread, which is awesome. So um, we're gonna do that now. Okay. One, two. Oh, they fit on there. They're a little, they're a little close, but they do fit. All right. All right. There is the nine pieces. It's tight in there, though. Okay. Turn it on. It's on toast. There's two slices, so I'm gonna change. Change it to nine. For the darkness level, I'm gonna go two. I don't like mine super dark, so. All right. Okay, let's see. Careful, it's hot. Looks like perfectly toasted toast to me. Let's see the bottom. Yeah, look at that. Looks good to me. Pass the toast test. No more toaster in my house. So overall, I have to give the Ninja Foodie air fryer oven a thumbs up thumbs up and if you haven't seen my ninja foodie pressure cooker that crisp review um, I will put a link to that so you could check that out these are about the same price this one I actually got for like I think $1.99 I think they're around $2.29 I got it on sale uh, right after Thanksgiving this one was the same I think I got it $1.99 so it all depends on what you need it for I think this is great maybe if you don't have a very large family as far for the air fryer goes uh the pressure cooker uh, works great i still use it all the time i don't like i said i don't use the air fryer as much i use more this this one because it's already out this one i keep in the pantry i didn't mention earlier that you could get the accessory for the uh the muffin pan a regular muffin pan does not fit in here but if you had like a six that that will fit in there and there is enough room in there for them to rise. But I think this is great. Uh, if, Like when I made the cookies, I didn't have to heat up the whole oven, um, which makes my husband happy because I don't heat up the whole house. In the winter, he's okay. In the summer, he's like, whatever. Heats up fast, doesn't heat up the whole house, um, so it's nice to have. So if you have any questions, um, let me know in the comments, and I'll try to answer them the best that I can. But overall, I'm happy with it. I, I think I'll probably use it every day. I will say I was a little apprehensive about buying another Ninja uh, because if you saw the video on the Ninja pressure cooker that crisp video um, you'll see that one makes a lot of noise it rattles and then <clears throat> some people had commented that that it shouldn't sound like that so I did contact the company and they informed me yes that was a flaw but if I paid $20 and returned it they would send me another one so I was a little annoyed by that I thought they should have sent me another one no charge because it was a common problem they knew there was something wrong with this certain batch of pressure cookers so I don't know I didn't I thought they should have stood behind the product I know $20 it's not not a whole lot but you know if you paid over $200 for the product you would think you know they might stand behind their product a little bit more. So that kind of rubbed me the wrong way with the company, but I guess I'm glad I gave this, this one a chance uh, because I do like it. If you have one, let me know in the comments below. I know several people have already commented they have one and they love it. I think Tad is, I think that's his favorite product ever. 
Um, he's very excited about it. So let me know in the comments below. Okay, so it's time for the question of the day. Okay, but since I made a pizza earlier, what is your favorite pizza? Is it a local place, a chain? I think mine right now would be, it's called Your Pie. You, it's a place where you, it's like a blaze pizza or I think another one's called Mod or Pieology, one of those where you go in and, and you make your own, well not you make your own, but you pick your toppings and they put it in the oven. Um, so you get your individual pizza, which is the barbecue chicken pizza, which is my favorite. Let me know below, what is your favorite pizza and where do you get it? If you like thin crust, thick crust, um, Chicago style, uh, let me know in the comments below. If you like the video, think about giving, hitting that thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed, think about hitting that red subscribe and the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye.